Hello everyone. This is Dr. Noor Nigar and today I am going to explain the poem Oh how I love your streets by Faiz Ahmed Faiz. This poem was originally written in Urdu and later it was translated into English by Khalid Hassan. Let's have a look at the poet. Faiz Ahmed Faiz was born on 13th February 1911 and he died on 28th November 1984. He was a Pakistani poet and author in Urdu and Punjabi language. That means he wrote in Urdu and Punjabi language. He is one of the most celebrated Pakistani Urdu poets. His poems assimilate modern Urdu with the classical Urdu and focuses excessively on expansion of socialism in the country. However, his country was ruled by an oppressive regime and he vehemently opposed such a regime and hence he was sent to prison for four years. As you know that Pakistan had been time and again had been under the military rule and this pained the author very much because the military rule believed in the military rulers believed in totalitarianism or totalitarianism let us first understand what is totalitarianism totalitarianism is a form of government that permits no individual freedom and it subordinates all aspects of individual life to the authority of the state. State means country. So individual life, individual freedom was given no importance under a totalitarianism or totalitarian form of government. Now, uh, the totalitarian form of government also controlled the lives of the people through coercion, that is force and repression, that is through suppressing or suppression. Now, let's know something about the poem. This poem, Oh, How I Love Your Streets, elaborates on the style of functioning of an oppressive regime. That means we come to know how an oppressive government or a regime functions and how is the life of the people in an in a country that has oppressive government. The first part of the poem presents a very sad picture of the poet's country that is under an oppressive regime. Thus we see in the first part of the poem, <clears throat> the poet sounds very pessimistic and sad. Though the poem paints a very bleak picture of the poet's country that is crumbling under an oppressive regime, the poem ends on a high note of hope. That is, the poet believes that the oppressor can never win and the people of the country should keep hope of getting their freedom soon. Now, let's see a few words that we would come across in the, we'll come across in the poem, venture out. Venture out means to go out somewhere that involves risk and danger. Oppressor, oppressor is a person, a, a tyrant, a despot or a dictator who oppresses people. Now, what is oppressive? Means inflicting harsh and authoritarian treatment. Playing God. Playing God means to behave like God. Behave as if all omnipotent or all powerful. All omnipotent means all powerful like God. Now let me read uh, the poem for you. Oh, how I love your streets. Oh, how I love your streets. My land of birth. Where? No one may now walk with head held high 
and those who venture out at the risk of life and limb must keep their eyes to the ground. New rules, new regulations have been laid down. Dogs are free to roam, but stones are locked away. For no excuse do the oppressors have, for they are now both judge and prosecutor. But man has always fought oppression. The oppressors' ways haven't changed, nor the ways of those who fight back. Our flowers have always bloomed through fire. Oppression never wins, and we never lose. The oppressor rides high today, playing God for a few days. But those who keep the faith can deal with fortunes, ups and downs. Now, let me explain the poem line by line. Oh, how I love your streets, my land of birth. The poet here is filled with patriotism. He expresses his immense love for his motherland or his country of birth. He laments that under totalitarian regime, none of his countrymen can now walk with their head held high. In other words, the people of his country now cannot take pride in being the citizen of a country that is now held captive by oppressors. And those who venture out at the risk of life and limb must keep their eyes to the ground. So people who dare to defy the orders of the dictatorial government, those people run the risk of losing their life or their limbs. Limbs means hands and legs. It indicates oppression and violence by the government. So people who do not obey the dictates, the orders of the government are mercilessly beaten. And in the process, they might lose their limbs, their hands and legs might be broken, or they might even lose their lives. So the government was very harsh, very violent on the people who didn't listen to the government. And keeping eyes to the ground indicates submissiveness. The people are very submissive to the government. They are ashamed of being a citizen of a country that is under a, 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 a oppressive rule or a, oppressive government. And also having the eyes to the ground indicates fear of the citizens. The citizens are afraid of the government and they cannot raise their head. They are afraid and that's why they are putting, they put their eyes to the ground. They fix their eyes to the ground. They cannot dare to look into the government or in other words, they cannot fight or they cannot protest. They cannot uh, fight back the government. And why the, uh, the government does all these things? It is done to create fear in the minds of the citizens so that they don't raise their voice against the government. New rules, new regulations have been laid down. So when the new oppressive government came, it laid down new oppressive rules and regulations uh, by this, the totalitarian government laid down these new oppressive rules and regulations to oppress the citizens and to keep them subservient. Subservient means submission, submissive. The rules are such that made the people obey or listen to the government without uttering a single word of protest. Protest. So dogs are free to roam, but stones are locked away. It means the military personnel are like ferocious dogs who are moving freely on the streets. So who are these dogs? Dogs are the military personnel, the police, and these people are like dogs, ferocious dog, waiting to attack the citizens, and they are moving freely on the streets, but stones 
What for do we use stones? Stones are pelted at stray dogs to shoot them away. So if we see a stray dog, a ferocious dog, what we do? We throw stones at them to uh, shoot them away. But here in his country, what has happened? All the stones have been locked away. It means that the helpless citizens have no means to fight the atrocities of the police and the military personnel. And these people have free hands in torturing and suppressing them. So the military, the police, the government is ferocious and the people are helpless. They cannot fight. They have no means to fight. They don't have any weapons, leave about weapons. They don't even have stones to pelt at these stocks. So they're completely helpless. The citizens are completely helpless. Now, let us see the next uh, few lines. No excuse to the oppressor's need for, the, for they are now both judge and prosecutor. So the oppressors don't need any reason to prosecute or punish a citizen. They can punish anybody they want without any reason or without any trial. So the oppressors themselves are now judge and they are the lawyers. This indicate, this line indicates that there is complete breakdown of law and order and gross injustice is done to people. So because people are prosecuted without any trial, they are not given any chance to prove themselves innocent. But man, till here we see, till this line we see the poet is very pessimistic. The poet is very sad. He presents a very bleak picture of his country that is under dictatorial regime and how people are helpless. People are afraid. People are ashamed. People move, move around with their eyes fixed to the ground. They dare not raise their heads up. So till now, we, we saw all these things and how people are punished without any trial and whomever the government wants can punish. So all these things, we see a very pessimistic picture, a very sad picture, a very bleak picture of the poet's country. From this line onwards, we see the poet is very optimistic and hopeful that the oppressors can never win and one day his country would be free from oppressive regime. So what he says, but man has always fought oppression. History bears witness to the fact that the very people who are oppressed, they have fought oppression vehemently. The people who are now moving around with their heads down, with their uh, eyes fixed to the ground, these very people who are helpless. History bears witness. These very people who are oppressed have um, fought against uh, powerful oppressors, against powerful dictators. The oppressors' ways haven't changed. Though the names of oppressors have changed over the years, we had um, um, what you call Hitler, we have Napoleon, Mussolini. The names have changed, but if you see the behavior and the attitude of the oppressors always remain the same. In the similar way, the way in which the people have fought back oppression if those ways have also remained unchanged. So oppressors' ways have not changed. They have continued to oppress people in the same way as they have been, as has been done by many oppressors. In the same way, uh, the people have also vehemently fought back oppression and their way of fighting back oppression has also not changed. Our flowers have always bloomed through fire. That means they have always achieved freedom through struggle. Flower is freedom is compared to flowers. So we see in history that all those countries who have achieved freedom, they have achieved through struggle. 
through the independence struggle of uh, their freedom or uh, independence they have not uh, achieved freedom easily so like flowers and pakistan has always fought for its freedom so our flowers have always bloomed through fires so they had to struggle to get freedom and hence he believes that the people would fight back they would struggle to get back their freedom oppression never wins and we never lose so i am sure that oppression can never win and it has never win because it never wins because till date we have not seen any dictator any dictatorial regime continuing its rule forever and ever how much soever harsh they were tyrant they were the, these dictators they all have Uh, faced defeat hitler committed suicide he was so powerful but he had to commit suicide so dictators have never won and people who have fought against dictatorship oppression they have never lost uh, like uh, the pressure rides high today playing god for a few days it is true that the pressure now feels very confident very exuberant exuberant means extremely happy at this moment because he has been successful in oppressing the people of this country and he might also think himself to be as powerful as god because he is able to control the lives of the people but it's, it's all of a short lived the poet believes that it's very short lived no doubt the poet the oppressor is now feeling very happy and very elated very confident just like a god he is able to control the lives of the people but those who keep the faith can deal with fortunes ups and downs that is people must not lose their faith on god they must not lose their faith on democracy because fortune never remains the same it keeps changing so if you have bad fortune you should not lose become sad or lose hope because you know will one day change and become good fortune and those who have good fortune must not be very proud because uh, they should realize that even this good fortune would one day change so fortune uh, uh, so people should learn how to deal with the fortunes ups and downs and then only they can achieve success one day they can achieve freedom from the dictatorial regime so we see the poem ends on a very high note the poet is confident that the dictatorial regime can never win and the people if they uh, have faith and through perseverance through faith people can easily deal with the ups and downs of fortune and achieve success one day thank you very much with this i come to the end of the